So welcome back to our next tutorial in which we'll be discussing the next operation. We are just going to pick 2D Adaptive Clearing. Great. What's the difference between 2D Adaptive and 2D Contour? Well, let me show you. Let's pick a half inch end mill to do this. Okay, great. Let's select our geometry. We're just going to select our contour that we want the tool to follow. Of course, it's going to be offset so that it finishes at this geometry. Let's go to heights, our bottom height. We can, right now it's selected contours. Well, we selected the top contour, so it will finish at the top of that. Uh, let's just show you what that looks like. Right, so our, our, our end mill is right at the very top because that's the contour we selected. Well, we want to go back to, not edit tool, we want to go back to edit tool path and our heights. For our bottom height, let's select selection. And we're going to pick this. We could actually pick the face if we want. We want it to go all the way down there. And we actually want it to go a little bit past. So let's do that offset of 50 thou. Beautiful. We're going to go to our passes here. And uh, yeah, this is great. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so first of all, our end mill, the flute length is not long enough. So let's just go there to edit tool. We're going to go to our cutter. Uh, overall length is fine. Length below sh holder, we're going to go one and a half. This is just for visual um, conf confirmation. Flute length is going to be 1.25 as well. There we go. So let's regenerate. Perfect. We've got a little check there and we can go simulate and look at what our tool is going to do here. It plunges right in almost the full width of the cutter. It takes one pass all the way around. So how can we fix this? Well, this is not the correct tool path. So I'm just going to show you um, what the difference between this and 2D Adaptive is. If we go back to passes here, we can go to roughing passes and we could do a maximum step over. Well, let's go to point one. And sorry, let's go back there. And we're going to go to passes and number of step overs. Well, let's do, let's do four step overs at 100 thou. So look at this, we've got even cuts all the way around. This is what a contour, a 2D contour path does, but this is not right. We don't want that. Obviously we, we want it to spend uh, more time in doing cutting this feature than we want it cutting the outside of the part. So let's just delete that. Now we are going to create a 2D adaptive clearing operation. Our tool needs to be selected back to our half inch end mill. Our geometry, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Let's pick the contour that we want it to cut. Now look at this. It creates a blue plane that shows us what material we're going to be cutting. So this is perfect. That's exactly what we want it to cut out. Our heights, we're gonna select our bottom height. Again, we're going to select that face and we want it to drop down a little bit. 50 thou. Perfect. Passes. Now we have an optimal load. We're not going to talk about optimal loads here, but I'm just going to go to point one to, to show you how to do this. We are going to leave some, yeah, let's leave some stock there, but we're going to, on a radial stock, we're going to be in putting 0 0.01 10 thou. So that's going to leave 10 thou wall to remove, 10,000 stock to remove. And our axial is our Z direction in this instance. So we're just going to put that down to zero. Great. Let's not worry about linking right now. Let's go. Okay. Now let's see what it's doing. Okay. This is a whole lot better. So let's go to simulate, slow it down just a little bit. Perfect. So look at this. It's doing a great job. It removes exactly what we want it to remove and nothing more, no wasted passes. However, you can see that there is a little bit of wasted time in the air. There's a lot of full retracts. There's something going on over here, a little bit of wasted time. So let's go back to our tool path. We're going to go to linking and for our retraction policy, we're not going to pick full retraction. We're going to go minimum retraction. Great. 
and stay down level. So at the maximum stay down distance, if you hover over it, it's just saying if the tool needs to travel more than this amount, it's going to do a full retract. But if it's less than this amount that it needs to travel to its next cut, it's on, it's only, it's going to stay at the, the minimum stay down level. So the stay down level here, let's just go to, well, let's show you what 50% looks like. And our lift height, I generally like to go a little bit higher than 8 thou, although 8 thou is fine. So our tool, when it's cutting, it's going to be at our specified Z value. But as soon as it retracts and goes to the next cut, it's going to lift the tool up and go to that position. So let's just add a little bit more. Let's go 10 thou there. And we can go OK. All right, so we've got still some more wasted cut uh, air time here. Let's go back to linking. 50% didn't do much for us. Let's go to most and see what happens. Great, so now our tool is staying down. So uh, here again, we've got a little bit of an air going on. I don't know why it's doing that. So let's see if we can try and make sense of it. There we go. Let's just go to 1.15 optimal load. Let's see if this is a little bit better. There we go. Okay, this is a nicer looking toolpath. Um, again, you're going to spend some time doing what I just did and trying to figure out exactly the toolpath that you're looking for. And of course, run it on the machine. If it's too aggressive, you're going to drop down the you're going to drop down the optimal load. You're going to change your speeds and feeds, whatever you need to do to make a good looking part. Great. Okay, so that's the first and second operations. Now, what we can do is we can just rename this face uh, and we can, let's go finish face. Perfect. And here we can do rough outside. Great. You can name this whatever you'd like. Try and have a proper naming convention for your own machine shop. So click on the top right of your screen to watch the next tutorial. See you then.